والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولاه. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our worship and emancipate us completely from the doom of the hellfire and gather all of us in the highest of the al-jinan al-firdaus al-ahla. This is what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa told us to always ask for the highest. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gather us in the home of his mercy in al-Firdaus al-A'la, Allahumma ameen ya Rabb al-Alameen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help and support of the believers is uncountable as his gift. Is uncountable as his gift. Because if you try to count the gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you cannot count them. وَإِن تَعُدُّ نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْصُوهَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم in Surah Al-Tawbah. That when he was in the cave, when he was in the cave, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down his soldiers, his forces to help the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. قَالَ فَأَنزَلَ اللَّهُ سَكِينَتَهُ عَلَيْهِ The first force, power, soldier of Allah is the sakina, the tranquility. As we know, we discussed this, and the sakina is one of the force of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes is situation of distress. You come to the limit of your capability. You cannot hold, you cannot face. Someone is about to collapse. And the sakina comes to give you that glowing of the face and the smile into in front of the biggest of the difficulty. As we said about Asia, the wife of Pharaoh, when she was crucified, she was smiling. And her husband, the husband for us say, this one woman is crazy. The other one, قَالَ وَأَيَّدَهُ بِجُنُودٍ لَمْ تَرَوْهَا And he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, helped them with the soldier that you didn't see. This soldier that we didn't see, this is not then the tranquility, it's something else. It's the soldier that we didn't see. So people, they say, are this the, the web or the spider web that we saw? That when we talk about in the cave, as it has been the narration, that has been if they enter, then they will have raped the web. So there's an entrance from the back, actually. So what are these swords that, that we didn't see? And why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned for us the sword that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is capable to and has the whole power subhanahu wa ta'ala to help the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to exterminate the kuffar, to take everyone in hellfire. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaching us the way of the iman, how to manage our life in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These soldiers that we don't see also are accountable and accountable. You cannot count them. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala qala wa ma ya'lamu junood rabbika illahu only knows how many are the forces of Allah, the power of Allah, the soldiers that they are serving, the cause of the human being to help the believer are uncountable. So the most famous one and known are the angels. As we have angels all the time with us. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Ra'ad, يَحْفَظُونَهُ مِنْ أَمْرِ اللَّهِ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has surrounded you with forces around you. It depends on your behavior. And they will be with you. Why Allah telling us to secure your heart? As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in two places in Ali Imran and in Surah Al-Anfal, that he make it to Bushra lakum. It's like a glad tidings for you, for your heart to be comforted. You know, maybe in that situation that you will be not mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or you think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is, well, you miss to have that big, big presence, you feel like the angels that are around you. They have been always around you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so one of the prophets, Allah ayyadahum bi ruh al-Quds, like Isa alayhi salam, it was with him Jibreel alayhi salam. And the same for the Prophet. But the believer, you have angels also with you. They are protecting you. So this is, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala qala junood lam tarawa. Other junood that we don't even be mindful of it, and we don't maybe know, is something that subhanallah, the love of the people to you is the force of Allah. 
the people, the acceptance of people to you. Look, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one of the force that we do not know is the love that Allah put in the wife of Pharaoh for Musa. As soon as she saw him, she fell in love of this baby. It was how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Musa with asbab. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want to tell us that the asbab that we see, the condition, the reason, the thing that we have around us are also can be the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The people of Quraysh, the soldiers of Quraysh, they were by the cave. They didn't enter. They were like at that point, coming to that point because they traces and people that are very expert in following the footsteps. It ends by the cave. How they didn't enter. How they didn't look in the back. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sarafa qulubahum. Allah diverted their hearts. Is a power, is a force. Is a force of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why when, when you are in a situation, there's forces that they are already with you, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, I'm defending you, O believer. Inna Allah yudafi'u anil ladhina amanu. Inna Allah yudafi'u anil ladhina amanu. The tranquility to give you to peace of your mind and to be comfort. But what about the one in front of you who going to hold him? Who going to stop him? One of the salihin, they were in a travel and they were in a group. One of them always, like in the night, he wake up and he go, leave and he comes before Fajr. One of the friend who's narrating the story after this righteous man passed away, Khal, I see him like, you know, just, you know, in secret, withdraw himself and he go pray, uh, he go to somewhere. He said, I want to see him where he's going. They travel, you know, marahal every time they stop by night to go to, to places, takes months. When he went, follow him in the back, uh, from the, following him, he finds him that he's praying in the night. The whole night praying by himself with Allah in the forest. Qal subhanallah, look this great man. Now, every night he's following, why? Because he loves to listen to the recitation of this man without him knowing. One night, while he's praying, a big giant lion came to him, around him, a lion. The person saw him, his friend, who usually uh, listened to the recitation, saw, saw the lion. But he cannot warn him because he doesn't know that he's there. What he did, he climbed on a tree to see what's going on. You're going to see his friend being devoured by this lion. So the lion is around the man and the other one reciting. He's like, the lion is not there. So when he made the taslim and the lion, he looked at the lion, told him, I'm not your provision. Leave. And the lion turned and he went. And this man was watching from, uh, uh, from above the tree. He was shocked. This is the four that we're talking that you don't see. What diverted the lion? It is not only the tranquility that Allah put on the righteous man to be, have keep his serenity in the prayer, but another force that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is the God of the lion. <laughs> That's why Nabiullah, the Prophet of Allah, Daniel, and he's known and mentioned, and he's been found his body in the time of Umar when the, the, uh, the believer, they entered to the city in Sham of Tester, and they find his body. And his body, they were like, subhanAllah, everyone can see, and his body was, subhanAllah, preserved. So when they talked to Umar, Umar radiallahu ta'ala an, he said to them, uh, you have to, uh, you know, bury him. This is, is how to honor uh, human being and to, how, to honor some great prophet like him. And they did, subhanAllah, they dig seven graves. And they put him in one of the graves so no, uh, no one will know from where he is, uh, Prophet of Allah, Daniel, alayhi salam, to bring, get him back and he will be a way of worship. And he has a ring. And this ring, subhanAllah, on this side, took it Abu Musa al-Ash'ari. And in this ring, there's the, the picture of two lines between a man. And a man among them is they licking them, licking this, this man. He asked, what is the story? And subhanAllah is the story, also the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the force of Allah. In his time, uh, Daniel alayhi salam, they were being told 
to the king that there's a, a kid who's going to come. He's going to change all your kingdom. In this night, he said, I will kill every newborn. For Daniel is just born that night. They took him and throw him in a place where they have, you know, in a cage, have uh, lions. And his mother was looking for him. And she came in the, in the morning. She find this two lions taking care of Daniel, alayhi salam. They licking him, taking care of him. The mother took him. Then afterward, when he was against the king in his da'wah, he threw him back to lions. But the lions, they already know him. He's the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he said that he put it in his ring to always remember the na'mah of Allah. And we say to benefit with such a na'mah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be protecting you with this hidden power. This hidden forces. You don't need to have the power that the fake, what they show them is like everyone has power. All of this doesn't exist. But the believer has a power, the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect him. Wherever you are with Allah, if you face a lion, that lion, who is God? He's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when you ask Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he had the power to do everything he will for that lion to, to help you or anything else. What you need and what do we need? need to, to build in our relation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The answer is al-ma'iyya. Al-ma'iyya. What is al-ma'iyya? How to gain the friendship of Allah. How to have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be with you. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned this hidden forces when after the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to Abi Bakr, لا تحزن إن الله معنا. Don't be sad, يا أبا بكر. Allah is with us. فأنزل سكينته. So when you bring that معية, when you are certain that Allah is with you, when you are confident, when you trust in and relying with Allah, then know that that forces are surrounding you. Whatever you will be in the midst of the sea. Or in nowhere, or in the stomach of a fish like Yunus alayhi salam, or in a desert, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be with you. Like the one of the companions, the she companion of Himal, Ummul Barakah, she was traveling, making her migration alone to Medina. And in the mid of the desert, she didn't have anything to drink. She was thirsty, almost to be died. And she looked at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's forces around her. And making dua. And she saw a bucket of water coming down. And she drank from that water. Since that time, she never got thirsty. Ma'iyya. What are the conditions of the Ma'iyya? In very brief. Read the ayah before it. Oh, you who believe. Why when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala call you to rush, to raise for his sake, you've been inclined heavily to the earth. We need to fight and strive against the magnetic, that magnetism of the earth that is pulling us, the dunya. And to rush to Allah, that's how you get the ma'iyya, that's how you get the forces, that's how you get the care of Allah, that's how you get the friendship of Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Gift us with the Iman and gift us with the Ma'iyya of Allah and make us from Al Muttaqeen, Al Mutawakileen, wa yunzil alayhi saki yunzil alayna sakinata bi rahmatika ya arhamar rahimina ya rabbil alameen wa jazakumullah khairun wa barakallahu fiqh.